It's Clay Trader, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol MMEX. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like a few weeks worth of time, it's actually just the past two days broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like you this time frame. I think it does a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price. And in this situation makes, you know, mapping out and kind of summarizing the price action pretty straightforward. And that would be back to the drawing board. What do I mean by back to the drawing board? Well, for those of you that watched yesterday's video, we were talking about, wow, the price made a, a very nice move and then did pull back. But it was kind of still a question of, hey, is this the start of something bigger? And the thing with movements that are the start of something bigger that do have genuine power behind them is the price is gonna make progress forward. The price is not gonna go back to where it was. And where was it before You know, the nice bounce happened? Well, the price was down in this channel area here, which I've talked about time and time again. And after today's price action, where the price closed, well, the price is now right back in the middle of this entire channel. Now, I'm not saying that a, a whole new move can't start or anything like that, but as far as the price movement here, which again, was a very impressive move. Was there any sort of true power behind that move? No, we have our answer now. There is not any sort of true power. It was a dead cat bounce. Again, Clay, how can you say it's a dead cat bounce? Well, dead, you know, non-dead cat bounces make progress forward, but this one is now right back to where it all started. Again, to reiterate, yes, the bulls can certainly start something new. They can get a new bounce and you know, then the, the price can keep on running. But as far as where it stands right now, and as far as that move uh, you know, from yesterday was concerned, back to the drawing board for the bulls. If they are gonna get a, a new move started, first area of resistance they need to break up above is gonna be that purple line there, the 50 period stump moving average. You can see it's already started to act as resistance later on this afternoon. So that'll be uh, bridge number one. And then the second bridge that the bulls will need to get back up above is that red line there at 0.019. As far as supports are concerned, nothing new here. We've been talking about these levels uh, time and time again, but that's the bottom of the channel down there, that green line, which sits at 0.016. So back to the drawing board for the bulls. Uh, maybe they can uh, get something new started to close out the week tomorrow. We shall see. One of the biggest questions that I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.